if these courses be departed from, the ends may change. Say it is thus with what you show me. Scrooge stepped towards the grave, trembling as he went, and following the finger, read upon the stone of the neglected grave his own name, Ebenezer Scrooge. Am I that man whom we saw lying on that bed? No. Spirit, no. Hear me. I am not the man I was. I will not be the man I must have been but for this intercourse. Why show me these things if I am past all hope? Good spirit, your nature intercedes for me and pities me. Assure me that I yet may change these shadows with an altered life. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons that they teach. Oh, tell me I may sponge away the writing on this stone. In his agony, he caught the spectral hand. It tried to free itself, but brave in his entreaty, he detained it. The spirit, stronger still, repulsed him, and lifting up his hands in a final prayer to have his fate reversed, he saw an alteration in the spirit's hood and dress. It shrunk and collapsed and dwindled down into a bedpost. And the bedpost was his own. The bed was his own. The room was his own. Best and happiest of all, the time before him was his own to make amends in. I will live in the past, the present, and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. <laughs> oh, Jacob Marley, heaven and the Christmas times be praised for this. On my knees, Jacob, I say it on my knees. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm as light as a feather. I'm as merry as an angel. I'm as happy as a schoolboy. <laughs> I'm as giddy as a drunken man. <laughs> I don't know how long I've been amongst the spirits. I don't know anything at all. I'm quite a baby. I'd rather be a baby. Yahoo! Hello! Bells! Glorious bells! Oh, what's today? What? Oh, what's today, my fine fellow? Office the day before and said, Scrooge and Marley's, I believe. 
It sent a pang across his heart to think of how this man would look upon them when they met. Oh, good day, sir. I, I, I hope you succeeded yesterday. It, it was very kind of you. A uh, Merry Christmas to you, sir. Mr. Scrooge? Uh, yes, uh, that is my name. I'm afraid it may not be pleasant for you. Please accept my pardon. And, uh, will you also accept this pledge for a donation to your charity? Oh, Mr. Scrooge, I, I don't know what to say to such munificence. Oh, not a farthing less. Uh, there are a great many back payments are included in it, I assure you. Oh, well, uh, thank you. I, I thank you 50 times. I'm much obliged to you. Bless you. Scrooge turned his steps towards his nephew's house. Now, he must have passed the door a dozen times before building up the courage to go up and knock. Fred! <laughs> it's I, your Uncle Scrooge! I've come to dinner, Fred! Will you take me in? Take him in. It's a mercy he didn't shake his arm off. He was at home in five minutes. Oh, nothing could be heartier. Wonderful party, wonderful company, wonderful games, wonderful unanimity, wonderful happiness. Oh, but he was early to the office the next morning. Oh, he was early then. If only he could catch Bob Cratchit coming in late. That was the very thing he had his heart set upon. What do you mean coming in here at this time of day? Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. I, I am behind my time. Yes, yes you are. Step this way, if you please. Oh, it shan't be repeated. Uh, it's only once a year. I'm afraid I was making rather mad heat yesterday. I'll tell you what, my fellow. I'm not going to stand this sort of thing any longer. And therefore, therefore I'm about to raise your salary. <laughs> salary and endeavor to help you and your struggling family. Uh, we will discuss your affairs this very afternoon over a Christmas bowl of smoking Bishop Bob. <laughs> Make up the fire and buy another coal scuttle. Oh, Scrooge was better than his word, for he did it all and infinitely more. And to Tiny Tim, who did not die, he was a second father. He was as good a friend as good a man as the good old city knew. And it was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well if any man alive possessed the knowledge. And may that truly be said of us and all of us. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. <laughs>